Well, bless noon, bless noon, bless noon. Hallelujah. Bless noon, bless noon. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Mama Pam and 7 Minute Read. And I read 7 minutes every day so you don't have to read 7 minutes. Hello and thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Praise God. For this is a day that the Lord has made. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is a day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, this is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made. One more time, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, this is the day, oh yes it is, this is the day that the Lord has made. Praise God, praise God. This is a day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> praise God. Periscopers, I am uh, on Periscope, and I'm doing Facebook at the same time, but you know that old you-know-who has attacked the Facebook. And the Facebook feed said, <laughs> not it, it, it does that from time to time. It says there's not enough um, connectivity or your your thing is whatever, whatever. Oh, the devil is alive. We will get her back. Hold on just a second. Seven minute read. And I am being attacked with um, um, allergy. Oh my God, I feel so... You can, you can, you can, yeah. But God's a healer. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see if we can get uh, Facebook back up. Uh, get it back up. <clears throat> and thank you, whoever that is out there in Periscope that's watching me. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being there. But this is a day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad. And it does not matter what life circumstances look like, does not matter what comes my way, does not matter, does not matter how I feel. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has enough worries of itself. But this is a day, Sister Carmen. Cousin Carmen, I said, this is a day that the Lord has made. I was singing on the other broadcast that I just started, and it went down. Facebook does that sometimes. I'll set it up, and it will say, um, sorry, your connection is too weak to do whatever. And I'm like, devil is a lie. I mean, we do whatever we want to do on these devices, but when it comes to the things of God, something always happens. But Satan is the ruler of the airways. We have to keep that in mind. Satan is the one that controls the airways. So instead of us getting frustrated and upset, just resist the devil. And the word says he has to flee from us. So I resisted. I just come back on on this one and I had to leave the other one. So let me give this little song to y'all that's in my spirit because this is the day. For this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is a day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made and you know the enemy is always trying to stop and mess with my vocals hey cousin rob thanks for joining i had surgery back in uh, 1985 and they clipped my um what's the, the voice thing the thing that you, that you sing with the uh, uh uh yeah they clipped it the thing that makes the voice the song what's it called Ew, i can't think of it but anyway they clipped it and so that 
affected my singing, but God healed and brought me back. And then I just got through coming through two months of couldn't talk. I couldn't talk for two months. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, God is good. God is good. I'm not here to talk. I talk on the back end. So let me get into what I do. I come on here and I read seven minutes every day. So you don't have to uh, read seven minutes. You don't even have to look at me because I'm all jacked up today. It's not about me. It's about trying to fight for marriages in the body of Christ. Fighting for relationships. Giving us tools to um, recognize and know who we are in God. So currently I'm reading Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women by Dr. Miles Monroe. Women have a purpose and women have a have power. We have to learn how to effectively use it and what to do with it. Not to or usurp authority over men. That's not what it's all about. It's for us learning to walk in who God made us to be. Amen. So let us pray and we're going to get right into our read. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the family that's come on. It makes me feel real good this morning. As I was feeling kind of low when I started, but when I see my kinfolk, it's all good. So, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this is another day that you have made. And regardless of what is going on in it, the sinuses, allergy, not feeling good. My husband was rear-ended this morning. My cousin's um, daughter was in a car accident on last night. And my, my spiritual daughter's grandmother died a couple days ago. All kind of stuff stuff is going on. But this is still a day that you have made and we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. You said in all things to give thanks, not some of them. You said in all things to give thanks for this is the will of God in you according, according to Christ Jesus. So we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. Now we ask that you open up the ears of the hearers and give them spiritual eyes to see what is being said through the words of this book. Bless this day. We commend this day into your hands. We give you glory, honor, and praise and call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. All righty. So we're going to get into Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women by Dr. Miles Monroe. Again, this is I am Pamela Dobson, a.k.a. Mama Pamela Risha. I just mentioned um, Virginia in my prayer. I pray she's okay. I'm going to call your mother when I finish this broadcast. Cousins Rob and Cousin... Um, Who's my other cousin on here? Francis? Francine? Francis? I don't know. One of the other cousins are on here. I can't see in the news feed. Um, but Larisha is my sister Hazel's daughter. And her baby sister, Virginia, was in a car accident. A terrible car accident. The car is just totaled. But they say the baby's okay. Carmel. Carmel. Okay. Praise God. Carmel's on here. So I'm going to call and check on uh, her after. So you guys just hold up my sister Hazel. Um, your cousin, our cousin, hold up um, my sister and her daughter and her husband. They just got married on the 18th. So see, the devil just a lie. The devil defeated, y'all. He, he just defeated. Praise God. All right, so I'm reading uh, now, just about to the finish, just about to the end of the book, too. And we're reading, um, Should Women Be in Leadership? Should Women Be in Leadership? Yesterday, I had to read from the car, and I noticed I skipped a very important section uh, starting at one, page 184. So I'm going to read page 184, uh, which is Rediscovering the Leadership Purpose of Women. Rediscovering the Leadership Purpose of Women. Then I'm going to skip over the influence power of the women. Look at yesterday's read, and you'll be able to see that. Thank you, Brother Rob. Appreciate it, cuz. And then we're going to go into the damage of influence power because we learned on yesterday that women are influencers. That's how our leadership, we influence whatever's taking place with the brother, with anybody else. We're influencers. We got a lot of power, y'all. Don't tell about it. Okay. Um, page 184, Rediscovering the Leadership Purpose of Women. First, let us consider once again that the dominion mandate was given to man, M-A-N, not just to the male, because man is male and female. Okay? So the mandate was given to man, not just to the male. Therefore, it is God's purpose that the woman, as well as the man, be fruitful and multiply and replenish, subdue, and have dominion over the earth. That's in Genesis 1 and 28. To have dominion means to govern, to rule, to subdue, to control, to manage, to lead, or to administrate. It is a powerful word. Both women and men were given the same assignment of dominion leadership. Let me read that to you again, ladies and gentlemen. Both women and men 
were given the same assignment of dominion leadership. God loves leadership and had it in mind when he created the earth. This is why he wanted the world to be cultivated and not just to remain wilderness. He loves order. So when God told man to have dominion, he was telling man who he is. Man, male and female, is a leader who is to cultivate the earth. Both. He gave them both that mandate. There's no coincidence of there's no coincidence of subjection, submission, or oppression of women in the first and second chapters of Genesis. There's no incident of subjection, submission, or oppression of women in the first and second chapters of Genesis. <clears throat> Excuse me. In God's perfect will, there is no such arrangement. The woman and the man were both equal, blessed, subduing, ruling, and having dominion. Then this was the then this was the result of the fall. That is not right. <laughs> the woman and the man were both equally blessed, subduing, ruling, having dominion, and God said, This is very good. Any other arrangement than this was the result of the fall. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. This means that anything that God said about the male-female relationship after Genesis 2 is a repair program. So that was God's original plan. Original plan, he created man, and from that man he created the female. They are all given the same instructions. Hey, I'm ha it's a family affair on here today. Now I got Floressa. Hey, baby. Floressa, I haven't seen or heard you in a zillion years. <laughs> Okay, so my cousin, um, now this is my cousin from my spiritual side of my family, the Ray Ray household. Uh, Floressa, everyone else on here is my cousins, my nieces, all kind of family folk. Praise God, it's a family affair today. Pet reading on page 184. So second, recall that the purpose of something determines its design, its nature, potential, and abilities. Therefore, since God's purpose for man was leadership, he designed the man and the woman with the built-in potential and ability to be leaders. Therefore, the leadership spirit is in every male and female. However, the way in which they execute dominion is different based on their distinct designs. So we're both made to be leaders. The way we um, lead is based upon the male and female uh, type of thing. Okay? And it goes on, like I said, it's, it's excellent, the influence power of the women, but we read that yesterday. So we're going to skip over the uh, why women are influencers. And today what we're reading is the dangers of influence power. You can take this power and you can misappropriate it. Yes, Karma. Right. Male and female. He created us equal. He created us equal. Then when the sin came in, you remember in Genesis it said that women were now going to be cursed to have to be in subjection to their husbands. Because we equal, y'all. And, 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 and having to condescend and having to let them. That's a curse. But anyway. <laughs> so the dangers of influence on page 187. Influence power, okay. Influence power may be more subtle and quiet than position power, but it has a potent effect. Satan understood this influence. The fall of man resulted from the serpent's interference with influence, in with influence leadership. Okay, the devil is clever. So when he wanted to destroy humanity, he went to the woman. Instead of the man, he went to the influencer, okay? He was after the man because the man is the foundation, but he couldn't get to the man because position power can usually stand firm as long as his position is genuine. And we know some of these men, they, they move. They, unless God move them, they're not going to move. They have that ego. They have that thing in them that they're a man. They're not going to be. But we women are emotional. So we might be kind of wishy-washy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can't destroy position power directly. You have to destroy it through influence. Therefore, Satan went to the influence power to get at the position power. He hasn't changed his tactics since because it worked so well. The devil went to Eve and basically said, I have a proposition for you. 
If you really want to be like God, pick the fruit and eat it. Well, the Bible says that Eve looked at the fruit and saw that it was good for food and that it was beautiful. She picked it and she ate it. Nothing bad appeared to happen to her, so she took it to her husband and influenced him to eat it. She influenced the brother. She beguiled him. She was so beautiful and everything, and she meandered up to him, baby, come on, eat some of this fruit with me. You know, and he did. <laughs> and the rest is history. So Satan went to the influence power and used it to destroy the position power. Yet God is all-powerful, and he was not defected by the devil's success. He was not defeated by the devil's success. <clears throat> Excuse me. He immediately put a plan in motion that not only would destroy humanity, but also would defeat Satan. However, his plan meant that a new arrangement would need to be made in the relationship between females and males until his redemptive purpose could be fulfilled. Okay, we're going to we're going to end up here. Uh, the powerful woman's influence may be seen in God's original design for her and in his response to her after the fall of man. And it's got one, two, three. Got quite a bit of stuff. So we've read beyond our little seven minutes today. So we're going to start back here on Monday. If the Lord lead me, I come on on the weekends. But usually it's Monday through Friday. Occasionally I come in on, on the weekend. And if so, then you guys can look at the replays. Okay, Carmel, praise God. Praise God, sweetie. Thanks for joining and look at the replays and share, 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 share. So what I've been reading is Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women by Dr. Miles Monroe. Um, we're on page 187. We're just about finished. Thank you, cuz. Praise God. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's, it's, I just read because you guys don't have time to read. I'm home. I'm retired. I'm in this house. I ain't got nothing to do. I said, Lord, what can I do? He said, read, just read seven minutes. And in reading seven minutes, last year I read three complete books. Just reading seven minutes a day. And I'm just about finished with this one, which I started coming into this year, I believe. Yeah. No, no, no. I was sick for all the first part of the year. January 6th I read, and I wasn't able to read again until February 24th. Because the enemy attacked my vocals, and I, and I couldn't. But, but I'm back now. God healed me, and I'm reading. Praise God. All right. So that's what we're reading. We're just about finished now. Today, just isn't this awesome the way God does a thing? We just got finished reading about Eve and how she was t uh, tempted in the garden and how she gave her husband the fruit, the danger of influence. That's what we just read, right? In another book. Look how God is. This is the book that I'm going to be reading. It's the woman you gave me. And it's talking about Adam and Eve in the garden. So isn't that phenomenal? God is just the way God pulls things together, there's no accidents, there's no happenstances. God does everything and he does it well. Well, these are some very crafty authors um, that made this book. Because as you see, the people on, on the front are sisters and brothers of another color. Um, but here the author is very crafty. Look what he did. Because look at the author. His name is Sean, S-H-O-N, uh, last name H-Y-N-E-M-A-N. And it says that we play the blame game in marriages, relationships, parents, parents and past. So it's going to give us a lot of good information for relationships, for all kind of good things. Very small book, but an excellent, excellent read. So this will be the next book that I will be reading. And as I leave you, I encourage everyone in Arizona, Arisha, all my Arizona family, loved ones, friends, please come out and support us next Saturday. Don't let me come down there and be, in, be all alone. Because we don't have the finances to be doing this know-how, but we're doing us for women. All of us are in financial situations, but we believe God has us on a mission. We're on a tour, being transparent, being open to help you, to help others break the chains in their lives from our experiences, from what we have gone through, from what we go through. And our testimonies of overcoming, our testimonies of breaking chains, our testimonies of family affair. It's, it's really, really, oh God, it's been phenomenal. We were in uh, Las Vegas on two weekends ago. And we will be in Arizona on Sunday, April the 2nd at the Total Impact ME Church. That's 15703 North 36th Street. 15703 North 36th Street, Phoenix, Arizona. Registration will be at 1 and the program will begin at 2. Come, 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 come. 
Share, 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 share. Tell family. I don't know what family I have in Arizona, but if you guys know something that I got, tell them, come on out. Me, Mama Pam, Sister Pam, come and check us out. You will be blessed. And last night, I did my first live radio broadcast. I hosted a broadcast show, uh, Sister Talk, on live broadcast radio, radio show. Sister Talk, you can look on my Facebook page and you should be able to see it. And what I did is I interviewed the young lady. Matter of fact, the young lady right here. I interviewed this young lady who is the president of all this and so much more. Oh, my God. Um, she's in the process of building a home for displaced women and children. She has an organization called Sisters Celebrating Each Other. She has written her book, of, um, I Know It Was the Blood, A Story of Overcoming. She's in the process of transitioning and moving. She just all kind of stuff. She's my spiritual daughter, and I be kicking it. I got her back, praying for her, supporting her as we go forth in what God has given us to do. So my latter years are going to be better than my former. My former, I was raising my babies and grandbabies. Thank you, Jesus. Babies and grandbabies is pretty much grown now. Now it's my time. Praise God. I love you guys, family. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was feeling kind of bad when I came on here. My eyes were itchy and congested and I just wasn't feeling that well. But seeing my cousin Rob and cousin Carmen and Larisha and, and, and uh, Kiki and, and uh, Loretta and all you guys, y'all just bless my little day. See, all y'all had to do is just stick your head in the door. <laughs> Let me know I got your support and God is good. So pray for me, please. Keep me in your prayers. Okay? All right, I love you. Love you. I'm getting ready to go eat and then I got to call and check on my niece, um, Virginia, in Arizona. All right, God bless. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye-bye. Periscope. Hello, hello, hello. As you can see, I was doing my Facebook and right here and had a bunch of family members on Facebook. And how are you today? I pray that you enjoyed um, the seven-minute read that I just did. And like I said, we're going to come into uh, reading this book. It's that woman that you gave me. <laughs> Always a woman. They never get, never put the fault where it go. That woman that you gave me. So I'm going to be reading this book. The woman that you gave me. This is the author. His name is Sean Hyman. S-H-O-N. Last name H-Y-N-E-M-A-N. And again, if you are in the Arizona area, if you are in Phoenix, Arizona, please join me. Total Impact Emmy Church, Total Impact, Emmy Church, 15703 North 36th Street, 15703 North 36th Street in Phoenix, Arizona. Join me on this day. Entry is only $10. What is $10? $10 don't pay the gas for me to get from here halfway down the road. We're going to be driving. It's going to be a long trip and we have to turn back around and people got to go to work on Tuesday. They're taking Monday off. So please come out and support us. I love you with a God kind of love. Thank you for being a part of my Periscope. I don't do as much on Periscope anymore because I have more people supporting me and following me on Facebook. But I'm doing what God had me to do, asked me to do. So I'm doing Facebook first and then um, Peris Periscope and Facebook. And I'm expecting, I didn't put that in my other video, but I'm putting out here Periscope to the whole wide world. It might be listening in or looking at the replay. Somewhere there is someone who has a blank check. A blank check that they're going to use to support our ministry. Not just me, but support the ministry. They're going to see and say, you ladies, I like, I see what y'all doing, Mama Pam. You're ministering to the masses. You guys are being a blessing. I can't go, but I got the money. I can send you to go. So here, here's your plane ticket. Here's your car fare. Here's your rental fare. Here's your food fare. Where y'all going? When y'all going? Just let me know and I'll take care of it. You four ladies no longer have to worry about anything. Just go and minister the gospel. Minister your testimony. Give to God's people from your our transparency is what's breaking chains. People are seeing realness. They're seeing real women who are sharing their hurts and their experiences and what they have gone through. We're opening up ourselves to you so that you can be healed. So someone out there, God's going to touch their heart. And, and to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me up. 
I have a private phone, 916-778-0726, 916-778-0726. I am Mama Pam. I'm Pam Dobson. Or you can send uh, money to uh, paypalme.forward slash Pamela Dobson. Paypalme.forward slash Pamela Dobson. Any one of those ways will work. So if God leads you to bless our ministry, please do. Praise God. All right. I love you with the God kind of love. Be blessed. This Friday is rainy here in Sacramento, so be safe out there. All righty. Bye-bye.